Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here bright and early on this cool morning after the rain. And I'm uh, looking for my birds, which I don't see many. Uh, I don't know where they are. They're around somewhere. They, they might be a hawk somewhere close by. They don't come out when the hawks are around. And I don't blame them because they'll swoop down and get them. And I don't like for my birds to be gone. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm out here this morning going to start a new project. And it's going to be a flower pot out of Portland cement. And it's going to, I'm going, this is my grandson, little pants that he used to wear <laughs> when he was little. He's 21 years old now, and, and this don't even fit one leg. But I'm going to take, I'm going to cut these little pockets off right here, and I'm going to put them on the outside of this pot. And I'm going to uh, let them dry, and I'm going to paint the pockets with denim-looking paint that I mix up. <laughs> and I'm going to see how that looks. I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put these pockets all the way around the pot. And I think it's just going to be beautiful. <laughs> and it's, it'll be my grandson's little blue jeans that will be here in cement forever. <laughs> Longer than me. But uh, thank y'all so much. And that's what my project's going to be today. I'm going to uh, fix this pot. And, and, I, and I think it would be nice if everyone else, you know, you got little grandchildren and uh, things that have little uh, pockets and stuff on it that you could use on a pot and it'll be a, a memory of them and, and that, I want that be fun. <laughs> oh, yes, it would. I see a bird. There might be some back there. I don't know. I can't see back there, but... Let's have some more coffee. Okay, let's get started now. Let me get around here and mix up my cement and my my Portland cement and my sand and get started on this project so y'all can see how beautiful it is. I'm about to get over here now and mix up my cement and I make up make it with Portland cement. This is my bag that I use. It's not got much in it, but I've got some around there that has a lot in it. <laughs> so I'm going to use this Portland cement and Georgia sand and water. And I'm going to make this pot, and I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's get around here and mix up some cement and get started on this project. Thank y'all so, so much for watching my videos. Have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share it and click the little bell so, you want, so you'll get notified when I make another video. So, and y'all are such a blessing to me. I, I read all my comments and I try to answer them, but I am so slow at doing that. I'm, and I'm so blessed that y'all think that much of me to send me a comment and and be a part of my uh, YouTube family. I'm so, so blessed. Thank you so, so much. Okay, let's get started with my, with my cement now. Get one more sip of coffee and then we'll get started. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is my this is my sand that I went up there and got. Maybe it's not too wet, but it did get rained on. And and this this little wagon here, I bought this this little wagon for my grandson when he was little, and I rode him around in it, and he played with it, and and now I'm using it. <laughs> to uh, go up the road and get sand and bring it 
down here and use it. So that's what I'm using, his little wagon that he had when he was a little, little tiny boy. <laughs> and we still got it, and I'm still using it. Oh, and let me show you this, too. This little table right here that I, I'm showing y'all is the little table that I bought my grandson when he was little. <laughs> it had a top on it here, and I... It, I put another board on top of it, and it's so shaky, I, I've got to get me another one, and sometimes the legs fall off, and sometimes they bend up under there. I'm going to get it re, uh, reinforced if I can, because I like that little table, and that was his little table, and I'm still using it. <laughs> and I, I don't want to get rid of it. I love it, and I just wanted to let y'all see all that stuff that I'm a sentimental person, and I like to keep things, and I got another board that I put on top of that to make it a little bit bigger, but that's what I'm using for our table now, and I'm so blessed and thankful that it's still useful, and I can still use it, and thank y'all so much. I just wanted to let y'all see that. Thank y'all. Okay, this is the... I'm going to show y'all this before I mix up my cement because uh, if I mix up my cement right now, the it'll get hard before I can use it. So I'm going to do this before I mix up my cement. And this is the uh, thing I'm going to use for my pot. It had some handles on it, and I cut them off. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's a nice little thing. I'm going to make a pot. I'm going to put it like this, put the cement on it, and put the pockets on it. So let me, uh, I'm going to put this over here now. I got it here to see how many pockets I'm going to need. Okay, I'm going to start with these. Cody's little little shorts he used to wear. He was so cute in them. So I'm going to move this over to the side now. I'm going to cut the pockets out and see how many pockets I'm going to need. It's a beautiful uh, morning. Uh, it's cool and it hasn't started getting hot yet. <laughs> and it's going to start cooling down because our children has started back to school. There's a, po a pocket. <laughs> I think that's going to be so pretty. Okay, that's one. Get the other one. Okay, there's another one. I know I'm going to need more than two, so let me start cutting another one. Boy, this denim does not get old because it's still strong as I don't know what.
Okay, I'm not going to show cutting all of these out, but uh, this is what I'm going to put on this pot. So I'm going to finish cutting them out, and then I'm going to stir up my cement. So see y'all, see y'all in a minute. Okay, I'm about to mix up my cement now. This is six cups of Portland cement, and it's fine, fine, fine cement. It's just like flour. It's just, okay, here's six cups of my Georgia sand, and it's just sand. You can use any kind. And six more cups, that's 12 that I put in my mixture. Now I'm going to stir it up. If I can find my stirrer. Okay. I'm going to stir it all up. my my last video that I made with my grapes oh I'm so proud of it it's people like it and I'm it was just like everything else I do just about there's not too much preparation in it it's just uh, coming up with whatever okay I think that stirred up enough I'm going to get my water in it, and I don't want this very thin, so I'm going to watch my water and not let it get too thin, and you have to be real careful because water can fool you, you know, you don't, it can look like it's not much, and then it turns out to be too much. Then you have to add more cement and more sand. Yeah, I do definitely need some more. I'm going to really watch it now because <laughs> I get too much water. I hope y'all try some of this stuff because it's so much fun to make something and it really is fun to make something uh, like a keepsake like something like like this is my my grandson's little blue jeans in the pockets I decided to use this is pretty close to what I want right here I've been told why do you mix up your cement every time? It's because some people might not see the other video that I show you how to mix up my cement. So I show you every time. So because you can't tell who's going to be watching your videos and somebody might not have seen the one that shows you how to mix it up so I'm gonna mix it up every time it's not that long most of the time okay see how thick that is it's real thick and stays right where you put it that's what I'm wanting Okay, now let's get over here to the table. 
this is my thing that I'm going to use for my pot. I'm going to put it in here just to make sure I can get it out <laughs> pretty good. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm going to put this over it. Because the cement doesn't stick to that plastic that well. So I'm, I'm going to cut this out and put my cement on that. If that makes any sense at all. But I don't want to take any chances, so I'm I'm just going to put it over here. Oh, and I was going to show y'all. That's my turntable that a special friend sent me, and I'm so thankful for it. Okay, I put something on it because you can't put that pot on that because it's too small, but you can turn this. So, it's so, I'm so thankful for it, and blessed every day. I can't get my nest fixed. <laughs> Have y'all ever heard of that? You know, the other day, I used this Elmer's glue to help Oh, that last video I did, I I used some uh, Elmer's glue to help hold the cement. I'm going to do that again because that worked well. Table is awesome. Awesome is all I can say. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, I think I'm going. I don't want this to have wrinkles in it much. I think I'm just going to kind of lay lay that like that so it won't uh, be ruffly looking. I was reading on my Facebook this morning and one of my church family uh, put on there that the Lord says don't worry he will take care of us and he's always there and I thought that is so true you know waste a worry is just wasting your time when you don't need to worry the Lord will will take care of you and and he certainly does I know for a fact that he does because I'm a living example of that I worried uh, really uh more than I should have over things that happen but you know I guess it's our nature to wonder what's going to happen to us and what if this and that and uh, we, we don't need to do that uh, at all Thank the Lord we got a, a loving God that will help us and not let us 
go and need things that we don't have if if he he will provide I know that and and I thank him for his blessings every day that he gives me uh, he gives us all blessings if we even if we just look around and acknowledge that they are blessings okay I think I've got enough oh uh, here much glue right there. Get started with our cement. Just plop it right down there. Okay, let's see what this cement's gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and put cement all the way around right now and just get it where I can start using it when I need it. <laughs> Y'all, I want to tell you something. I looked on my videos uh, last night and I have got one video that is a year old. And I know this might not be much to in, for the people that do real good, but to me, <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful and blessed. I have a million views. A million. I cannot believe that I have a million people looking at my looked at my video. It's just one video, though. It's not. <laughs> it's not all of them. But I'm so thankful. I think my pot's getting moved over. But how blessed am I? that I have a million people that have looked at my videos. It's the one that has uh, the three pots that I made all colors. It's, uh, it's a draped pot. And I looked on it last night and I saw it has reached a million people have seen it. That's just unbelievable to me because, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've just never dreamed such a thing could happen. Especially <laughs> when you get 80 years old and you're doing something that people like, you just wonder how in the world can this be? But as I was just saying uh, before, the Lord will take care of you and He and His time and His, you know, people think, uh, you know, people do things to you and you worry about it and you wonder how, how people can do some of the things they do. And how they rest at night. When they. When they do it. You know you have to. You have to account for. All the things that you do. You you have to. Be. Uh, it will. You have to account for all the things. That you do in your life. It'll come back to you. That's what I think. Now, that's not what, that might not be what everyone thinks. But that's my belief that you you do good and you'll have good things d done unto you. But I am so blessed. I haven't even told my grandson about that. Uh, he was, he was, uh, 
in the bed or in the bedroom or when I saw it. But I just saw it by myself and I was so proud and so thankful. <laughs> Just, just, uh, I, it, it just doesn't seem like it could be real to me. You know, I'm, <laughs> I spent my life just trying to raise my children and trying to make ends meet, and and all this stuff happening to my husband. And, uh, him passing away and all the things that went on and but I'm still blessed and I'm still here and I'm still uh, going to do the Lord's will as long as I can as long as I have my right mind and I think my right mind I think I have it <laughs> oh I don't know but sometimes I wonder but what a blessing I'm just, just so, such a blessing knowing that you, that you have what you need, most of it, and I know what to need. <laughs> I have food on my table, and I have shoes on my feet. And you know that song. It's beautiful. Okay, my camera just cut off again. I turn this turntable around like this I think about that sweet lady that sent it to me okay uh, now I'm going put some more water in this mixture that I have left and I'm gonna dip my little put my little pockets in there okay, here's here's the pockets I'm, I'm gonna put them in the cement now and let them get cement on them Hey, uh, my camera cut off again. Uh, I'm getting ready now to put my pockets on here. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, I got to let y'all see it, I guess. Go around and put one on the opposite side if I can find the opposite side. See my little mark I put. Oh, I see it. I'm going to have to put some extra uh, cement, oh, um, extra cement around the outside just a little to hold it. 
just to hold it. Okay, I've got them too. I'm just trying to fix these pockets where they are stay on there a little maybe better. Put cement down in the pockets and they should like stay uh, I mean get hard and like I I want them to. All, all this stuff is, is new to me. I've never seen this done before. Uh, and, and I'm trying, what I'm doing is just trial and error. And I'll come out here maybe before it gets too hard. And I may do it before is uh, try to outline the pockets, you know, a little bit with with some kind of little tool that lets you see where, where they are better. I'm just trying to get them on here now where they'll stay. something you've never done before you just try to figure out what to do because <laughs> you don't nobody's told you how to do it then Put a hole up there. Uh, let's see, where's my little thing that I used? I put this little thing up here in the middle where it'll have a hole in it. I'll have to kind of push through that fabric that I've got up there. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to try to come out here and just distinguish a little bit where the pockets are because it kind of covered them up a little bit, but I still know where they are. When it gets dry. Okay, I'm going to let this let this dry now and we'll come back in a day or so when it dries and uh, do a little painting on it and whatever it needs 
Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed, blessed day. And subscribe and share. And be a blessing. Try to be a blessing to someone each day. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia. And I'm out here early this morning. Going to start on this project. It rained last night. All my bird uh, feeders were full of water, so I had to clean them out and put the, some dry seeds in there so they could eat. They don't like wet bird seeds. And I'm ready to open this project. This is my uh, Blue Jean Pockets flower pot that I made. My grandson's pockets are on here, and I'm going to take it out of this mold now and paint it and see how it turns out. I want to thank y'all so, so much for watching my videos. Have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share and click the little bell so you can get notified when I make another video so y'all won't miss any. <laughs> so thank y'all. Let's get started with this project now. I'm ready to, I'm ready to see how it looks. Let's go. It's gonna come out. Oh, oh I'm so sad. And look. Inside. I don't know where to try to take it out or leave it in there or what. Let me go around and get these little edges off. so wonderful which I'm not through yet something could happen you don't never know what what may happen to your project but it, it is so nice to get out and create something and that you're proud of that you have the ability that the Lord has given you to do that let me go get my little broom don't know what to do, where to leave that stuff in there, or where to take it out. I guess I'll take it out. Hey, I got it out. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank the Lord. Okay. I'm going... Okay, I'm going to try to paint now. I hope my pot's up there good. I've got it rigged up. 
so I can paint it uh, at eye level. I won't have to get way down there. Okay. Time to start uh, mixing up my paint. Okay. This is just acrylic paint. Let's see what color it is. Real blue. And I'm going to put some <laughs> black. I'm going to mix some black with this blue because I don't want it real blue. Guess what? <laughs> My camera cut off again. But I might keep it on too long. I don't know. I don't know why it cuts off so much. My turntable is doing great. <laughs> I'm, I love it. Okay. Let me get up here and paint on the inside of it a little bit. I guess the color that I'm using on this pot right now is what I would call a navy blue. It's real a real dark blue. You put blue and black together <laughs> and that's what that's what you get. It would be I guess it would be wonderful if the people where all the fires are, are would get some of our rain like we're getting. I don't know if that would even put it out or not, but it's so sad that people are losing their homes and, and you can never get back your stuff that you had. You can get more, I guess, but it's not like what you had. 
and you're a sentimental person, but that can't be helped, you know, that's, that's the life, and that may happen. My son and his wife's home burned, but thank the Lord I've never lost my home because of fire. Okay, I got the inside painted. I'll let y'all see that before I get through. Let me have another sip of coffee. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mix a little bit of blue. Let's see if I can get around here. A little where y'all can see and I can see. I think that looks beautiful. Let's 
see something I need to do. Get up and look at it. Okay, I've got, I've, I'm letting it, I've let it dry, and I think my camera cut off a while ago. I'm, I'm going to seal it now with this, uh, grout and tile sealer. I'm going, I'm going to spray this on here now and then let it dry. Okay, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll come back out and let you see. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, I think I'm going to put some flowers in it. I'm not sure if I am or not, but it's just so beautiful without anything in it. I don't know if I'm going to put any uh, flowers in it or not, but I'm going to let you see the inside. It's beautiful inside, too. So, I'll be back when it gets dry and see how it, I'll be back when it gets dry and we'll see how it looks and Lord have mercy my neighbor's dog I can't get out and do anything without him barking I don't I, I wish he would not bark So that's my uh, finished, that's my <laughs> project. I'm going, I'm going to let y'all see it again when it dries, and I'll be back out here to see about it then. Thank y'all. Okay, I'm, I've let it dry, and I, I wanted to let y'all see all the way around it. I put me a little lacy thing on my, on my turntable. I think it's so pretty. Okay, this is this is my flower pot that I that I made with uh, blue jean pockets of my grandsons when he was a little boy. I thought this was uh, would be nice for him. To have this pot to remember.
Okay, this, I've let this, this pot dry now, and, and this is my uh, blue jean flower pot that I made from my grandson's uh, denim blue jean pockets. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I won't, and he can keep this as long as he wants to. And remember, you know, the, the blue jean pockets will be there because they're covered in cement inside. I put cement down, it's the two pockets. I, I cut them out like, and they'll be there because they're, they got cement on them and they won't go anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to let y'all see the inside, how beautiful it is. Okay, let me go over here and let y'all look down in it. I may have to take it off. The, I painted the inside too. So that's, that's it. That's the inside of it. I painted it and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And... I'm going I'm going to get over over here now and take a picture with it and that'll be my finished project uh my blue jean flower pot I think it's just beautiful uh, Okay I'm okay I'm going to put uh I'm going to put uh some flowers in it I think I'm going I'm going to look and see I'm not going to put any dirt in it right now, and I don't think I'm going to leave it like that, but I thought I would put these flowers in it. Oh, that's beautiful. That looks great. Oh, and I, I didn't show y'all, I don't think, but it, it's got a hole in the bottom of it. Whenever you look down in it, I hope you can see it. I put one in it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is my finished project. My blue jean flower pot. I am so pleased with it, and I'm so thankful. And I'm thankful for my turntable. I put me a little lace, a thing around on it, and it look. It's so beautiful. I'm so proud of it. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. This is this is it. I'm. I'm gonna uh, put it over here now and download this video so y'all can see the whole thing <laughs> uh thank y'all so much for watching and being a blessing in my life thank you thank you thank you have a blessed blessed day